my goal in this video is to provide you with an easy solution to the most annoying parts of video editing, freeing up time for you to focus on more important aspects of post-production. With this, you'll be able to skip the most frustrating steps when editing and move on to what I would call the actual editing stage. Just to give you a quick idea of what a time saver this tool is, I imported my footage for a typical YouTube video, selected the best takes and removed other unwanted sections. This took me around 40 minutes to do and I would consider myself a pretty fast editor. But with this tool, the same task took around 5 minutes. And when it came time to add subtitles, I spent over half an hour trying to recreate what this plugin did in 30 seconds. From my experience, I can confidently say that you will save an hour or more of work every time you use this tool for a talking head style of video. This is a plugin for Premiere Pro called Firecut and I'll leave a link to it in the description. So I have it open here and as you can see it has quite a bit more tools than I mentioned, but I feel that these three in particular are the stars of the show and will probably make the biggest impact to your day-to-day post-production. So I've imported a video of myself presenting a script. In this video I make several mistakes and have to go back and re-deliver my lines multiple times. So to make my rough cut, I'll first select the remove silences tool and it should select the best settings by default for every situation, but you can customize it even more if you want. I'll go with the defaults and click go. And this is the part that I like the most. It's insane, it's like having another person edit your video. You could skip this step, but they really recommend that you remove silences before removing repetitions with this tool. And that's what I'm gonna do next. You could select the basic mode here, but I really recommend the advanced mode. This will allow you to preview and customize which parts of your video the plugin removes. So let's click detect repetition. After analyzing, you'll be presented with a transcription of your video. And these highlighted sections indicate that there is repetition. Generally, it's pretty good, but I usually adjust these settings right here a little bit. I find that for me, decreasing the minimum phrase size helps and extend to end of sentences option works the best. For you, it might be different. So just read the transcript and make sure that all of the repeated sentences are highlighted in the same color like you see here. For example, I repeated this line a bunch of times, but only this part is the complete sentence. This looks pretty good, so I'll click preview and choose best stakes. In my video recording workflow, I only move on to the next line once I'm satisfied with my delivery. This ensures that the last take is always the best, making it easier to edit manually. And this is actually the perfect workflow for this tool. So during this step, I won't even review other options and simply approve the last takes. It generally does a good job, though occasionally it leaves duplicate takes. It's better to catch and delete these manually rather than use really aggressive settings, since it can sometimes completely delete parts of your video. So definitely be careful with that. Another insane time saver is the captions feature. I've tried my fair share of caption plugins or apps in the past, and they all have their shortcomings. For example, CapCut is more of a trust me bro situation. You can generate captions with a click of a button and the accuracy is ok, but if you want to adjust timings or fix mistakes, all hell breaks loose. So let's see how FireCut compares. So I'll click transcribe my video and these are the presets. You'll see a preview of the captions here and I think Hormozy or Mr. Beast style are the most popular, but I also like the box follow. Of course, you can customize the captions even more. I think one of the most important settings is max words per line. So you'll be able to limit how many words are in each caption, so this will work well in both horizontal and vertical videos. And just for this example, I'll add a few more customizations and check if the transcript is accurate here. Finally, I'll click add styled captions to sequence and watch it go. You'll notice that these will be imported as PNGs and not a caption track. This is to make the captions really customizable and even though I would prefer the captions to be real captions, I can't complain too much since Firecut makes it really easy to edit them later on. Another thing I noticed is that timings are very accurate. Other caption programs I tried really struggled with matching the caption and audio timing, especially when you want only a few words on screen at a time instead of a full sentence. 
but Firecut seems to do a very good job here. In this video, I'll show you how to create this cool CRT TV effect in Premiere Pro. Also, when you customize your style, you can save it as a preset just by clicking this plus icon so your captions are consistent across videos. In my experience, this is the most customizable, accurate and easy to use caption software that I've ever used. Not to mention that I can do all of this in Premiere Pro without changing my workflow, which is a huge plus in my book. So after doing all of this, you're ready to move on to the real editing stage. So I suggest you watch this video where you will learn about the best AI tools that will help to level up your videos from zero to 100 in a matter of minutes. 